in Jesus name people of God I greet you again as we are about to start we normally start with a gospel song and today is going to the song is going to be done by a musician gospel singer by the name of Minister Fatih K. Samura. The song title Lord Prepared Me and the song has no copyright. Again, no copyright. Stay tuned and we will soon be with you.
Amen and amen and amen. People of God, that was excellent song that was done by our sister. We appreciate you so much for the song. We pray that the good God will give you more grace for you to move to a higher height. Amen. People of God, on behalf of my family and the entire ministry, again, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are here again with another hour, another moment of the Holy Ghost hour, as we are on number 32, by the grace of God we are moving forward. Sweet Holy Spirit, this is your moment and this is your hour. By ourselves, I don't think we are able to do excellent. We commit this entire moment into your hands. Take control over every moment, every hour. The platforms that we are watching, we are using, we cover them into the most precious blood of Jesus. My follower and my listeners, I cover their lives into the most precious blood of Jesus, the entire universe and the body of Christ. Let the blood of Jesus of Nazareth that speak better things begin to take control now. Let the ministry angels that are assigned to this wonderful ministry, let them be active as they are always. Let the atmosphere fill with your glory, Yahweh. Our brother, as you are pleading on behalf of us daily, sweet Jesus, let your name be glorified. Holy Spirit, it's all yours. Amen. People of God, we are here again, and uh, we are still on the title, Experience Practical About the Holy Spirit, which I believe is very important for us to know time like this because God wants us to know more and more about him and with a deeper revelations which I believe the Holy Spirit is here to enable us to go more and more so people of God for the next three days, we are going to deal with the book of Colossians. As the Holy Spirit enable me to know about the book of Colossians that was written by Brother Paul. Brother Paul, as you all know, he was a great everything he was doing was doing overboard and he knows what he was doing when he was serving the devil he went deeper and deeper so even when the grace of God came upon him he go more deeper so he's a man that is very zealous when he said he's serving the devil he don't compromise he moved forward. But when God came upon him and rescued him, he did great and great and great. So all of us have a purpose. That's why I said the devil always use people that God has great potential in them to serve humanity. The devil is afraid of himself. He always tried to copy 
the patterns of God, which at the end of the day, he is disappointed and he will continue to be disappointed, which I believe him and his fallen angels will end up in that lake of fire. By the grace of God, we are preaching that no one will go to hell with the devil. The mandate is given to us to preach the good news. That's why I keep on telling the world about the good news. There are some people in the physical aspect, you may see them that people already judge them that these people he he's going to hell but you don't know maybe why he was about or she was about to take take their last breath they accepted jesus just as the guy the two people that were on the cross with jesus jesus was in the middle the other one accepted jesus and jesus said you'll be with me in paradise so there are some people maybe before the last breath they accepted jesus which is good so don't be relented let's preach the good news it's out there we have some people they are not coming publicly to pronounce jesus to accept jesus just like nicodemus so let's preach the gospel the holy spirit told me our mandate is to preach is to tell the world that jesus is lord that jesus has power so it doesn't matter there are some people they want to be serving the devil publicly but in their secret when they know everything is going backward they accept jesus so they know that's the conscience of man, which is God's spirit. Everything on earth belongs to God. Everything on earth belongs to Jesus. So today we're going to read about one of the book that our brother Apostle Paul wrote. The book of Colossians is one of the books that Paul wrote it while he was in deep distress. He was restricted. He was in prison so he wrote this one why he was he didn't even visit he never visited Colossian but the desire the Holy Spirit enabled him to reach to Colossians because of one of his convert that's why people let's preach you don't know who God has already touched. There are people that are out there. They are not coming to you publicly. Just preach. Just do your own part. The Holy Spirit know. One day, one day, they will come and say, your message brought this goodness to me. That's, this is the result. So we're going to see how one of Paul convert and Paul was reaching him in letters while he was in prison let's go so we're going to deal with the book of colossians chapter one colossians one for the next three days as the holy spirit enables us so experience as i said is very important for us to know so people of god please be listening be attentive as i read if you have your bible just read you can go ahead of me and i will you will catch up with me why i'm trying to explain as the holy spirit enable me i read colossians chapter one greetings from paul this letter is from paul choosing by the will of God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus and from our brother Timothy 
So when you see Paul was always referring to Timothy, one of his disciples. So this letter written to the Colossians, Paul measured him and his disciple. Everybody has their own disciple. My, I have, but it's far off. Sometimes some of the disciples don't even worry about them. They will come along as you move on. Some are waiting for bigger. <laughs> they, some people, they, we want you to see when you are up there, that's the time they will publicly associate themselves with you. And they will publicly pronounce that, yes, by this man of God, this brother, you know, is my disciple. But some, they choose to just make it dumb to see let's see some nobody wants to some people don't want to start why you are creeping they want when you are up there that's the time you will begin to see they will jump if you don't even be careful they don't even want you to come close i am the one that he was talking i am his disciple so everybody for now i'm comfortable the way i am one day one day god will bring those that really wants to come out publicly and say yes this is and I am and uh, Paul Baker disciple Paul chose me to be one of his disciples he impacted a lot of things so maybe you are out there you are going through a lot of things like that so don't discourage just keep on doing the work one day one day you will reach up there so this is under the moment Paul always make reference with Timothy Verse 2, we are writing to God's holy people. He always used person, he personalized it. In the city of Colossae, who are faithful brothers and sisters in Christ. May God our Father give you grace and peace. Verse 3. We always pray for you and we give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and love. For all of God's people. Which come from your confident hope of what God has reserved for you in heaven. You have had this expectation ever since you first had the truth of the good news. Six. The same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It is bringing fruit everywhere by changing life. Just as it changed your life from the day you first had and understood the truth about God's wonderful grace. Verse 7. You learned about the good news from Epaphras, our beloved co-worker. He is Christ faithful servant and he is helping us on your behalf verse 8 he has told us about the love for others 
that the Holy Spirit has given you. Let me just pause here. As I said, when it comes about the kingdom of God patterns, when it comes about Jesus, I always start with myself. Without the Holy Spirit, I won't be able to give a proper love. We have already seen here in the book of Colossians, this letter is an encouraging and connection that Apostle Paul and his disciple Paul, uh, Timothy, because in just like in our own situation today, Colossians, they were going through a lot of error just as in our own 21st century ministry today we have a lot of errors that are coming within the gospel of jesus christ so paul was in prison but he was not totally restricted for him not to reach out according to research paul was even given he was kept in the prison in Rome Paul was given the authority the lax city a little bit to even see people and share so Paul let us were delivered he was not totally restricted I don't know who I'm speaking to Maybe your own situation is like this. You are not in the physical cell or they are, they are not in the physical jail. But you have some limitations. Maybe hardship. Or maybe you can't able to move beyond. But please, my brothers and sisters, whatever little you have, whatever chance you have preach the good news use your surrounding you don't need to go higher as i said the other day god wants you to start in a little way and when he comes he will start from that little and make it bigger paul was never tired he never gave up as i said when he was serving the kingdom of darkness by killing god's people the believers of jesus christ he said i was doing it serious i was committed in it so he's a man when he said he's doing something he don't resist himself he give everything so when he got the truth the knowledge the total understanding came to him about his being he was educated he was influential he was dealing with high-ranking people but when salvation came upon him he was persecuted he was restricted but he never gave up his disciple Epaphras was Paul co-worker. He was with Paul. I don't know who you are impacting in life. I don't know. But Paul never touched his feet in this particular city or this particular country. But his disciple, his co-worker was able to establish the good work. So Paul was encouraging them. He was telling them, love the grace of God. My dear brothers and sisters, what me and you are enjoying is not by our human wisdom making. No, it's from God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So Paul was sending a connection, was sending 
words of encouragement, words of complimenting, applauding them that you guy keep on the good work. The Holy Spirit will enable you to show love to each other. The Holy Spirit came. That's why you can't be pronouncing the Holy Spirit as I said all the time. You can't fake with the Holy Spirit like what is happening today. You can see Christians. They call themselves Christians. They are all over places. But they are working with people that don't like humanity. That don't like other people. They drew barrier. If you are not like this, I won't be with you. Christians, it's hard time for us to be very sensitive. God is love. God loves us. He wants the good from us. The Holy Spirit is here to enable us to show love. Can you just imagine? I love this verse 8 of Colossians chapter 1. He has told us about the love for others that the Holy Spirit has given you. Paul never take glory for himself without acknowledging the Holy Spirit. What I, to personalize it on my own way, I can't do anything without giving the Holy Spirit all the praise. He deserves to be honored. He deserves to be praised. So Paul knew that Love comes from above. Because the Holy Spirit came here to make sure that the name of Jesus is highly exalted. The name of Jesus is highly represented, not misrepresented. Verse 9. We have not stopped praying for you since we first heard about you. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of His will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. Makuri Haba Santa. The last verse for today. Verse 10. Then the way you live will always honor and please the Lord and your lives will produce every kind of good fruit. All the while you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. My dear brothers and sisters, The first 10 verses of Paul's letters that was written to the Colossian people, the Colossians, personalize it to yourself today that Paul is speaking to you in this chapter of Colossians. Love is what God is expecting us. He already loves us. The Bible says we didn't love God. He loved us. And by sending his son Jesus to Cain and die for our sins that me and you we have freedom and walk in liberty no condemnations no guilty free so Paul knew all he said, I will do for you guys is to go on my knee, 
asking God, praying for you guys, that the good work that my co worker has already started, that God will enable you. He was not there physical. But thank God, God allowed. He was in prison. But they gave him some laxity to send his letters to places. When you talk about Ephesians, Philippians, and another one, those are all Paul was in prison. Why these messages were sent? People of God, the good news of Jesus should be preached. Go all out and share the good news. Just as I said, you don't know who is waiting to hear the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus. You don't know who the Holy Ghost wants you to say something as he enables you. Don't get tired. Don't give up to reach to people with the good news and the grace of God. You don't need to condemn people. God is love. He loves us. He cares for us. Let's do the will of our Father. Let's rain, shun, shine, cold, whatever. If you are in a hunger mood, you don't have a better shoes, with a lot of limitation, preach on your reward. We come to you. One day, God is a God of a rewarder. He will reward you. He knows your name. He knows everything about you. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I don't know, but the Holy Spirit is telling me to tell you, all is not lost. Don't give up. Hold tight. You are for signs and wonders. Your testimony is about to change. Your ministry is about to take a dimension that people will wonder and give the glory to God for your sake. I stop here as the foundation of the book of Colossians. Tomorrow, we go deeper. If you are new to this message, you want to give your life to Jesus, you want to accept Jesus as a Lord, as a personal and Savior, you can say this prayer after me by naming your full name. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. You know me by name and by character. Whatever sins I have committed, secretly, openly, have mercy upon me. Accept me the way I am. In Jesus' name, your name, and welcome to the salvation of Jesus. Let me pray. Holy Spirit, anoint your servant, anoint your daughter, your son, as they have publicly accept Jesus. Order their step in Jesus' name. Amen.
let me now pray for you. The authority being invested in me by my Father Yahweh, in the name of His Son's name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, let your anointing flow on the lives of your people. Those that are watching, anoint them for your glory. Be with them. Guide them from all harm and danger. Anything that is not of you, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Let your name be glorified, Yahweh. Let your name be glorified, Jesus. Holy Spirit, cover their lives for goodness in Jesus' name. Accident will not be your portion. Untimely death will not be your portion. Sickness will not be your portion. You are healed and covered and delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. People of God, if God has taught you for you to be a financial blessing to this ministry to support us, you can follow the link that you are watching from Facebook and YouTube. You are able to get the link. You can reach us if you want to. If God taught you for you to be a blessing to us, you are always welcome. I love you. Shalom. God bless you. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for another session of the Holy Ghost Hour. On behalf of my family, again, we say we love you. We care for you. We are always praying that the good God will establish you higher and higher and higher. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom. God bless you.